there, it's Nina with Walla Stamping, and I am bringing the April Paper Pumpkin to you today. Now, I have tore into my box already, and I wanted to open it up and show you what's inside, and then show you the project that I made with April's Paper Pumpkin. I have been talking this up and talking this up. Didn't know what all was in the package, but was really excited about it, because Stamping Up promised us that it was going to be fantastic, and they did not lie. It's awesome. So, let me show you what all is in your box this month. Um, this is just your instruction sheet for the cards that they have planned for you to make, which you can follow step by step and make exactly what they show you here. I did something a little different. I kind of wanted to do my own thing, but the stamp set that they are giving you, which I've got some of them mounted on my blocks already, um, let me put something behind this. Maybe you can see it better if I do it that way. But you have some little dots here. You have a large word, you and best. And then everything else, there's so much dad, the love mom for thank, happy, R, happy birthday to, and teacher. So there is a whole variety of different types of occasions that you can use this stamp set for. And then we've got some black and white diagonal striped washi tape. We have a ginormous amount of mini glue dots and they also included a package of dimensionals. The little Stampin' Dot is your basic black stamping. The free gift in the April Paper Pumpkin is these watercolor pencils. So awesome. I have the full set of the watercolor pencils. I got them when they were available to me as a demonstrator and I've really enjoyed using them. So they've included four free pencils in the Paper Pumpkin for April. Um, I did not use Use these watercolor pencils in the project that I made I'm going to share with you but I will show you how to use them now along with the watercoloring pencils they also sent a brush that you can use with those watercolor pencils so on to the other paper type items that they have in here now I've used some of this already so there's not going to be the complete number that would come in your package because I've been playing as you can see I've got ink on me this morning but we've got this really super thick cardstock that's the black and white stripe. We have these little stickers that are kind of leaf shaped. We have these really cool watercolor paper hearts and they're clear embossed and this is what I'm going to color on to show you how to use the watercolor pencils. Then they have these little banner punch out paper here and this is on whisper white cardstock and they have some large stickers that you can use then we have a couple of different sizes of watercolor paper then we have the thick whisper white cardstock here and these envelopes are absolutely great I love them the inside of the envelopes have these three patterns and then when you flip it over on the outside you can address it here and I love that they're black that's really awesome and y'all look at this y'all know me with my sparkly glitter stuff I love 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 it so I've been thinking this morning about what I'm going to do with these what I really like about them is that they're clear plastic and they have the glitter attached to one side and then the other side you can see the glitter through the plastic plastic. Now I don't know how well you can tell this on camera but when you're looking at the side of this little embellishment that the glitter is on it's a little more sparkly and just slightly different in color than the one that you're actually looking through the plastic and seeing the glitter so there's actually a couple of different ways that you could use these little embellishments here and then these are all of your card stock to make your cards with so let me set all of this aside and we're going to get started on our project today now before I dive in to the project I did want to show you how to use the watercolor pencils so what did I do with those hearts there they are so let me get these pencils out of the package little heart that 
I think that you can see the reflection of that clear embossing. The thing that I really like about doing coloring with embossing, whether it's clear or colored, is these little embossing lines act sort of as a wall to help prevent your colors from bleeding over into one another. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to lightly color in some of these little, well, they're just kind of abstract little triangular shapes all over this heart. So I'm going to go in and just lay a little bit of color down in each one of these and I'm going to speed it along just so that it doesn't take a really long time to for you to watch this in the video. Okay, now let's see that I have this yellow here. Let's say that I wanted that one to be green instead of yellow. I'm just going to come in on top of that yellow that I colored and blend these two together and it should hopefully turn a little shade of green. And it's a very light green, so if I wanted it to be even more green, then what I would do is allow that to dry, which it's not. So I'm just going to lay just a tad bit more of that blue down, and then come back in with my brush and just work that in. And, well, it's not turning out the way that I would like for it to because I didn't allow it to have time to dry. But as you can see, this is just, and this is just like a little quick run through to show you how great the watercolor pencils are that Stamping Up has. You can certainly do a lot more with this. You could make this all one color if you wanted to, or you could do it multicolor as I did, however you choose to do it. But anyways, that is how quick and easy you can use Stampin' Up! watercolor pencils. I actually did a couple of different cards here. This is the one that I'm going to demonstrate for you and both of these are for Father's Day. Now this one, well both of them actually say the same thing. It says you are the best dad and then I've got a little bit of washi tape and that striped black and white cardstock on top of the whisper white cardstock and then I have it mounted on top of my basic black um, card base. So first of all I'm going to take my card base and just run my bone folder across that crease on it so that I can get it to lay down nice and flat. Then I'm going to take my piece of Whisper White cardstock and I'm going to grab just a piece of scrap paper here and the little ink spot is my basic black and then I have those little dots mounted on a block C. If you sign up for Paper Pumpkin through me and you are one of my Paper Pumpkin subscribers, then during your fourth month of your subscription, if you'll just send me a little note through email and say, hey, I am in my fourth month of my Paper Pumpkin subscription, then I will be sending out to you a gift as a thank you for being a subscriber of mine. And in that gift, you're going to get a free package of the snail adhesive and I'm also going to send you a full size clear block D. Now when you get your paper pumpkin originally the clear block that is going to be in there is probably about half as thick as these. Still very useful. It's perfectly satisfactory to do your stamping with but I would just like to um, give you a little thank you by sending you a full size block and the adhesive as my way of saying thank you for being my customer. Okay so I've got all of this stamped now and well actually I'm going to leave this in here um, what I'm going to do now is just sit this aside and I'm going to grab another piece of this Whisper White cardstock and I shouldn't have put my ink dot away. I'm going to stamp the word you and best on here. And this is really cool, the way that they've designed these stamps is they've designed it so that it looks like you've taken a paintbrush and drawn out these words or written out these words with a paintbrush. There we go. Very cool. I like that a lot. Oh, let's see. Put this over here. Now I'm going to grab 
one of these striped pieces of cardstock, and I'm going to grab my Stampin' Up! trimmer. I'm going to line the edge of this black stripe up within the line of this cutting track. And then I'm going to just cut along there with my blade, then slide that over so that the other side of this solid black stripe is lined up with that cutting track, and then cut that one. And then I'm going to do the same thing again with a second one. So then what I have left are just two solid black pieces of this cardstock. Now I'm not going to need my black ink right now. I'm going to actually do this with some Versamark ink. So I've got my Versamark and I have my embossing buddy. Um, I'm going to just use that. This is an anti-static or anti-cling and it will help prevent your embossing powder from adhering to places on your paper that you don't want it to be. So on one side of my clear block G I have RV and then on the other side I have DAD. So I'm just going to dip that down into my Versamark and I'm going to use my graph paper to help me get this straight. Stamp that down. Then I'm going to turn my block over where DAD is on the other side use my graph paper again. Then I have my white embossing powder and I'm just going to take this and stick that right down in there, tap off the excess, and then do the same with the word dad. Grab my heat tool and get this heat set. I think that looks really neat with that white embossing powder. I'm going to be using my Layering Circles Framelit dies. Surprise, surprise, y'all know that I absolutely love these. And I'm going to take my You and Best and lay that down on there. And I'm going to go with the third from the smallest circle to cut these out. Just get that centered up and run that through. Now I have a piece of scrap basic black and I'm going to take the fourth from the smallest circle and cut out two of these to go behind my best and you. So now I think we are about ready to start assembling this card. Now to put the splattered, I'm just going to call this splattered or speckled, I don't know how you want to refer to it. Anyways, I like it because it kind of looks grungy and kind of manly to me. I, I was going to use my Fast Fuse, but I just ran out and I didn't realize I didn't have any more refills, but I don't. So I'm just going to use my multi-purpose liquid glue to stick this down. So I got that stuck to my card base. Then what I'm going to do next is take my two small white embossed words and I got this one just a little bit close to the end, closer than I should have to be able to do this with. So when you do yours, um, don't stamp it quite so close to the edge of your piece of paper. And that way, you'll have a little more room to cut out your little banner shape. Or you could call this a ribbon, whatever shape you want to call this. So this is going to end up going here, somewhere about there. And I'm just going to lay this out before I adhere it all down, just to make sure that everything is where I want it to be. So this will go about right there, and then this will go about right here. And if it's a little bit too long, then I just snip that off just to make sure that it's not going to stick out from underneath the other side of this black circle. So that looks good. Then this will go here and this will go here. So that's looking great. Before I stick those down though, what I'm going to Oopsie, I dropped my container for my fast fuse. I'm going to take some of my washi tape and move that out of the way. 
just stick this down right here on the edge come all the way down and just roughly tear that off and this actually has adhesive on the back so I'm just going to peel that backing paper off and then stick this down right about there then actually I'm going to cut this down just a little bit it's really a lot longer than what I need it to be take the backing off of this oops I'm going to need a little bit of help I'm going to use my piercing tool see if I can't grab that backing off of there and that's going to go just about there take my black cardstock circle put it here take my second one and put it on top of dad then I'm going to use the dimensionals to place those two words on it and if you've never used dimensionals before you are going to be so in love with these they are so great Because I love all of my projects, well for the most part I do, to have a three-dimensional look to it. So you're just going to put that one in the center of that black circle. And put this one in the center of this black circle. And there you have a Father's Day card. Now I don't have anything on the inside of mine, but let me show you what you can do if you would like. You can take an additional piece of the white cardstock that came in the kit and you can just adhere that down to the inside and then you can hand write a note in there if you want to. Or you could also add some other words from the sentiment or from the stamp set rather to make it say what you would like it to say on the inside so you could say something like thank you dad so much or you could put love you dad or you could just create whatever kind of message you want to say on the inside because you have the ability to mix and match all of these words so this is my paper pumpkin for April alternative project that I wanted to share with you and you know what I almost did I almost forgot that I was going to use these um, metallic enamel embellishments on the card and what I'm going to do is just grab a couple of these small ones and put one beside the word dad grab another one and put it right there beside are the so I really have enjoyed sharing this tutorial with you today if you're interested in a subscription for paper pumpkin send me an email at Nina at wallastamping.com and let me know and I will tell you how you can get your subscription started you can go to my online store to shop for paper pumpkin as well and that address is while I stamping dot stamping up dot net type paper pumpkin into the search bar on the top left area of my shop page and you can get your subscription started there as well so if you have any questions feel free to let me know if there's anything you need also let me know I hope you have a great day I'll talk to you soon